Hey guys, Chris here, and today I want to show you Wonderlist from the start. Uh, now, what Wonderlist is is it's a it's an online application through the web. It's also available on Android devices, and I believe, or rather, I would assume, iPhones as well. And what this little app does is, as the name would imply, it lets you create and keep track of lists. Uh, with notifications available for you. So the first thing you're going to see when you pop into the app is it's going, for the first time that is, it's going to show you this little thing where you can basically have it create you a bunch of different lists um, that you might want as a starter list like work, family, friends, private, if you want to um, separate the tasks or the things you set as a reminders into separate categories that can help you get started so we could say work right here and it'll create a little category over here for work um, of course you can always add new ones now if you want to insert your own custom lists uh, through the Windows app you would hit control L and this will bring up a dialogue to go ahead and create a new one so just give it a name um, test list, why not? Let's not be too creative here. Now, you'll notice down here, it'll say list members. You can actually add different people to your list. So if you're working on a work project or something with friends, you can actually tie together multiple emails, multiple accounts, so that other people can go into Wonderlist and check the details on the same uh, tasks that you've created through your own system. And that can be pretty helpful. But for right now, let's go back and I'll show you how to create your own task. So typically you might do it from the inbox or any other folder. And what you'll see up here at the top is going to be add an item in the whatever folder you're in currently. So to quickly add an item, you would just type in uh, whatever you want here as the title. So um, great task for tutorials. Now you'll notice it didn't add any details whatsoever. You didn't start or anything, although you can if you want over here by checking that. And you can click here to set a date uh, or due date, reminders, that kind of thing. Um, and you probably do want to get reminders, by the way, so that you actually know um, when you got to get stuff done. And what it'll do is it'll send email reminders to the email that you signed up with. Or the Google account, which is, you know, of course, tied into a Gmail, uh, however you decided to sign up. So whether you decided to hit here or you just double click on the task to edit the details, uh, you can go ahead and put more settings in it to make these tasks a bit more useful than just a simple list. So for instance, we could set this task to be due tomorrow. And you can also have them repeat every single day if you want or every week or every month. Um, kind of useful in the same way that many calendar apps are. It just does things a little bit differently. So this will be a task that repeats every day. Great task for tutorials. Maybe that would be a notification that I should be putting out more tutorial videos for you guys. And it should remind me about, um, let's say, can I change the time? Yes. 7 a.m. in the morning. Why not? Um, you could add subtasks such as make the video hit enter and then another task upload the video okay and that should be good down here you can set um, just simple notes like you do this alone don't need nobody else and down here at the bottom you'll see that you can actually integrate files with your tasks so perhaps um, and this would be more useful if you're sharing your tasks with other people. But perhaps you can upload something like a, a flyer, just documentation, something that gives more information, maybe instructions on how to create the task. Uh, if you were going to assign these tasks to someone else um, at your workplace or school project or whatever. Um, you also notice it does integrate through the drive uh, by clicking right here and you can bring things in through Dropbox. And uh, this one, uh, yeah, that looked like a mic. I've never actually used this, but if you wanted to record a message, I suppose you could do that. So let's go ahead and try that out. Allow to create a recording. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and make sure that actually uh, successfully went in. Uh, it doesn't quite sound like it. So, um... <laughs> My desktop might not be using the same uh, 
microphone as OBS is currently, but I assure you it is recording the actual video in OBS. So, um, aside from that, there's not too much to it. Uh, I would just say keep in mind you can assign tasks to other people and that's really useful. Um, the, t the app will send email reminders to you as you create tasks and set due dates. So that's an important feature. Whenever you type in an app, or a task rather, test task 2, it's a good idea to go over here, just set a due date, so that it will remind you, uh, a due date and a reminder. And we'll say, uh, how about remind me tomorrow about that. And then hit enter, and then bam, you have it there. Of course, you can always double click, double check, make sure it's all set correctly. Alright, so one last thing to keep in mind is that with these tasks, even if you create them in the inbox or another folder like work, you can actually drag and drop them between different folders. So, for instance, uh, I could take test task 2 here and just drag it right over to work. Bam, now it's in the work folder and organized properly. You also notice that it does tend to organize some of your tasks. Uh, as you create tasks, um, it'll put some in the same week. There, uh, I don't remember if there's one for days, but definitely for week. Um, so the app lets you help you organize your tasks. It lets you set reminders for tasks and due dates for tasks. Integrates with your email so that you will be notified in the most obvious place. And you can share your app or your tasks through um, other people who may be involved in certain projects. So it's a pretty useful app. And this is just the free version. There's also a premium version which adds some more features. So if you're looking for a task uh, management app on Windows, and I believe that you can actually, yeah, of course you can use it through Linux too, because it's through the web. Or Android, or iPhone. Pretty good choice to go with. So, I've been Chris. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments section. Aside from that, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.